morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone, and welcome to Crime and Justice. It's been horrible today compared to the last few days we've had. In fact, I've had to put my heating on today. I've even had to put my little heater on in my, where where I sit in the in the balcony area, what I call my balcony, which is now like an office area. I had to put that little heater on tonight because it's so cold. And my cats, no one is cold because they go and snuggle up on my bed. They're getting the spot ready for tonight so I can't get in. Right? So, plus, last night I went to bed 10.30, brilliant it was. I come off my live, uploaded it onto my laptop. Turned everything up, went to bed. I was in my bed by 10.30. Right? Now, I was tossing and turning, couldn't sleep. Right? I was probably dozing in and out, but couldn't sleep fully. I get up about half 10, 11, 11 12, about 1 o'clock ish in the morning. But, right, I gave myself a hot, milky drink. Right? So I did. That didn't work. I thought, I'm not falling asleep on the sofa. I am not falling asleep on the sofa. So I watched a bit of TV, well, YouTube on my TV, and then I gave myself another warm drink, milky drink. Not happening. And it got to be about 4, 4, 4.30 before I went back to bed. Still tossed and turned. Still. Um, I looked at my phone today on my app for my watch. And it said I had 10 hours sleep. I'm thinking, where? Right? And I had something like, hold on. And it had something like, um, you know, what did I call it? Uh, I'll tell you in a minute. Hold on. Right. I had deep sleep, 29 minutes. I'd like to know when that was. Light sleep, 4 hours. I'd like to know when that was. That was probably when I went back to bed at about 4 or 5 o'clock this morning. Then I had 6 hours, 13 minutes of rapid eye movement. Right. Now, rapid eye movement is supposed to be really good. If you get that much rapid eye. And I'm thinking, but I wasn't asleep that long to get six hours of rapid eye movement. Unless I'm actually getting up, sleepwalking, and making myself warm drinks while still asleep and watching TV. Because I remember watching Grizzly True Crime channel. And that's what we're going to be watching tonight. Because for... Oh, yeah. We haven't seen this interview. Right? So I thought, I'll do that to, well, tonight. So I'm thinking, where on earth did I get my... 10 hours and 42 minutes sleep from? When I was up from... At 1 o'clock, it says I went to bed. It says here, 22.30, fell asleep. Right, right. And at 9.12 in the morning, woke up. But I didn't sleep the whole time. I was up at 1 o'clock. I didn't go back to bed till about half four. So, where's my awake time between then? You know what I mean? The night before it showed me awake. But last night it wasn't showing me awake. So, um, I see what happens tonight when I go to bed. I must be sleepwalking. I really must be. Must be sleepwalking and watching TV in my sleep. Alright, so, anyway, so, I was watching that Grizzly True Crime, and I like her channel. And again, Kurt, it's, I've got to not credit Grizzly True Crime for this. 
because it's from her channel again. And what I like is she puts it out with one with commentary and then one without. Right? She'll do two. So if you go on and listen to her commentary, she's got the link in her description for the one without the commentary, which I think is great. And she don't mind anyone using her work. As long as we acknowledge that, which is, I think, fair. Right? And she is, she's she been, been going on Vinnie Politing, 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 tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. But you have to go on the web page, their page, to see it. It's not on the YouTube, it's on their website, their web page. She, this is, I think, her second or third time of being on there. She's really, really good. She's going to be, she reminds me of her. She's, she's an up-and-coming Nancy Grace, but better. Because she does deep dives, real deep dives, right, into these cases. Anyway, so, as I said, what we're, we're watching, we're going back to the beginning. Right, I know we've just seen an t- interview from Jen the other night from March. When was it? March sometime. No, from the day early twin March the first, the day they found Maggie. I was before they found Maggie. They did an interview with Jen, right? And we just seen last night. We saw the interview and the arrest and the body check of Stefan Stearns. But now we're going back before them two interviews. This is the first, you know, you've got all your police interviews, which we've heard. Right, we've heard them like, like on the 26th and the 27th. Yeah, we've heard all those police interviews. And uh, we've seen the body cam from the 25th, uh, 26th. So we've seen the body cams, we've seen the police interviews by, uh, first of all, it was Kiss Me Please, and then it was Orange County. And what got me on them interviews was when she told me who she was and there was sex crimes unit. You didn't go, what? You didn't hear, what? what? What's sex crimes unit got to do my child being missing? You didn't hear none of that. And Tignora is never one of these jaw-dropping interviews with Jen Soto. But I will, if I can, I'll put uh, the subtitles up because there's some areas it's very hard to hear her. I had to watch it with subtitles because some there's parts of it I couldn't quite hear. And it was on my and that was on my TV and I didn't want to be blasting my TV while I'm 1.30 this morning. My neighbours would have really loved me then. So I put subtitles on. So we're going to watch that now. So let's just get that pulled up for you. And this is just audio. Right. And I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put a video, a little video thing, compila- compilation of photos and pictures of Madeline and the guys and the search parties. That's all it is. I'm putting that over it, okay? So I'm not just looking at a screen and audio. So. Let's get on with it, because it's an hour and 42 minutes, and I will be stopping in between, because this is just your dropping, honest. You think it can't get any worse, but it can. And I know there's another part after this interview as well, because they do say we come back, and that's the part I want to get to, because that, I think, is the one where she turns tears on and off. So, anyway, we're going to listen to this, because... Reference Orange County case 24-0131. Uh, 
one three. Today is February 28th, 2024. The time is approximately 15, 49 hours. Detective Costa, located at Central Operations, conducting an interview with Jennifer Soto. Are you going to the question answer? Uh, most likely. Okay, that hasn't started yet. I'd have to check. I do not know. I've been out here. So. Okay. That's working now. My internet is very fluctuating fluctuating at the moment so it's down to one bar on your hand so if you if i if i lose you if you lose me don't worry i'll be straight back okay doing okay no i know So, like I told you, my name is uh, Detective Police the Sheriff's Office. This is Detective Acosta. You're Mate. Jennifer, correct? And then I'm assuming is yes. that what I understand? Yes, but he's actually on his way to Florida. Okay. He recently moved back down in December to Northport, Florida. Okay. His dad had offered him a job, but it fell through. Okay. So he's kind of stuck down. Gotcha. Um, so we, what was the job that his dad was trying to get him? Do you know? It was like. Construction manager, or like a okay. project manager, something like that, like okay. an apprenticeship kind of thing. Okay. Um, that health. So we like a we have to wait a specific amount of time for you to reapply to Disney again. Okay. From when from when you resign. Right. Okay. So how how often does he stay at the apartment with you guys? Uh Until December, and then he twice or three times. Yeah. I'm just saying he stays with his dad when he goes down there. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long? Has okay. What's happening? What's that stuff? Thing. This past Sunday? Yeah. Okay. And he was staying with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, all There, I'm back. I knew that would happen. So I've stopped the video for now and I'll put it back on. Yeah, there. They're pretty great. Okay. Um, 
do they ever go off on their own? Like you kind of do your thing and the two of them do stuff together? Hardly ever. You sleep on a couch, separate bedroom. What's like the sleeping arrangements like? It depends. Uh, for the most part, he would sleep upstairs in the guest room, sleep in my bedroom downstairs. Okay. Um, sometimes he would come sleep in the bed, all three of us together. Okay. And rarely, rarely ever would I send them upstairs to go sleep alone away from me because I need a good night's sleep. Because if we sleep all the three of us together. Oh, I can only imagine. It's a king bed, but it's like she just. Well, she's I don't believe you, Jen. She's not a small baby anymore. No, she's not. So, so it's just three humans on a bed. It is really uncomfortable, really tight. About how often was, um, they would go in the room? I would say. I would say, honestly, I'm going to say less than five times has this ever happened, right? They have less been that and this is over the course of him visiting um, back and forth correct five times too many um, my eyes you mean the sleep the sleeping arrangements hardly are there because i just i don't believe you jen so you're pretty familiar with him yeah oh. okay whose hand does it look like to you What is going on? I'm going, it's going to be one of the nights, isn't it? I would say that's Stefan's. Is that Stefan's hand? Yeah, I would think so. Okay. So, you and Stefan, have you guys been sexually intimate before in the past? Yes. So you're aware of what like his penis looks like and things like that? No. No. What about that? Possibly, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're thinking that that's his penis? Might be. Okay. Anything, it's not even the penis I'm recognizing, it's the things around it. So it's the things around it that make you believe it's his penis? Yeah. Okay. So we have these images, and unfortunately, over the last maybe two or three years, he's been doing oral sex, vaginal sex, and things like that. What makes you guys? We have photos. We have his phone. See, she says, she says, what makes you guys like, I suppose, she stops there, but she, I suppose she's just saying, what makes you guys, you guys believe he's been doing that? Uh, they've got the pictures, right? We were able to get into his phone. And there are some very, very unfortunate graphic pictures of him conducting various sexual acts with. I wish I could tell you this was all a made up story, but it's not. Did you ever suspect anything like this? No? You okay? Okay, can I get you anything? Uh, take that off. Some water. Just have it. Yeah. Like it. Hi. Hi, Hi they you like it. Hi. I think you're too young to be listening Is to this. Is this like a surprise? Hi. Mm 
Yes. So, so you know how we have his phone? Obviously, that's how we were able to find the photos. <laughs> My internet is playing up. What well, makes you believe that it's not? So you thought you knew him well enough? Our goal. She's gone very quiet there because they've just shown her pictures of him and Madeline. But it's the rest of the interview. Like, oh, I just want to get hold of her and give her a slap and knock reality into a fucking thick school hovers because she's got no reality at all it's like she's still in denial you've got to listen to this it's just unbelievable oh we want to we want to find her can you think of anything of where Stefan would take her. Did they have any special hangout spots? Did they have any places that they would do together while you were at work or you had other things going on in your life? The only place they would go is hang out at home. There's no, no place I can think of that they've gone outside. I mean, come on shopping to like target before how how this can be true how i missed the signs what sign were you are you saying you missed no. Like, I'm just saying, if there were any signs, I didn't see any. Right. Like, these are, I'm, I'm, I, and I'm not telling you, like, these aren't just Google images we found. These are Apple images. I want you to say, I don't. But they're us down. No. So we go there. I just have no idea. It's Newport, Florida. I'm not alone, no. Alone? You guys would go together? Yeah. Okay. All right. What's that mean? Yeah. Um... So, Stefan would not stay at the house with you guys. Where else would he stay? In his apartment in, in, North, in his house in Northport, Florida. That's it. But when he would visit here, he would always stay in your house. He would never go get a hotel or stay at a friend's house or anything like that. No, he stayed here. Okay. Why did he go to Newport, Florida this morning? This morning? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just curious. I heard a rumor that he possibly went down there. No. I don't was. know. Them is maybe lost in translation. No, we went no, down there. He was. We were. We were in the hotel. No, he wasn't. He stepped out to go get some wawa. Okay. And then came back. But how long was he gone for? Um, Does he have a new phone since we have his? Or I think his dad may have handed him a new phone. Okay. Do you know the phone number to that new phone? No. Okay. What's his dad do? Works in real estate. I think he's a broker. Um, Stop sticking up for that POS, right? This is what gets people so angry because she's still, this is only three days after her daughter has been reported missing and she is still sticking up for him. And it annoys me because there wasn't a couple 
There wasn't. That split up. He moved up into the spare room, into room number four, in 2023. He moved out in November 2023 and went back to his mum and dad's because his dad was paying the rent for him. Right? And yet in these interviews you've seen with her on TV and I was so upset. Oh, God, give me a bucket. I'm going to be sick. Right? She is still sticking up for this POS. This interview is just unbelievable. You've got to... Oh. So, look, we're, we just need any information. Any. No, I know. I know, but there's nothing I can give you. There's nothing I can... Did you communicate with Stefan on the new phone with your phone? No. Exactly like you can't talk. Like you can't. I just want to... I believe I believe you. I want to believe you, but I won't believe you until I see actual. Are you sure you want to see that? I'll I'll go get it. Are you sure you want to see that? She still doesn't believe them. After being shown so one or two or three pictures, she still doesn't believe them. Oh my lord. Take my take my word of advice. I'm, I wouldn't, you know, blow smoke up your butt and tell you, you know, that's that's a fake picture. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't. I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I'll be more than happy to show you those images, but I don't know if I would want to see those. But if you want to see them, that's your own prerogative. Can you tell me what's being done in the photos? SI. She has a penis in her mouth. And that picture that you said that the stuff identified that Stefan's penis around her eyes. Do you need any more water? Are you okay? I literally thought I was coming here for the press conference, but this is not what we're here for. Yep. I know. And it's unfortunate that, you know, these are the details that we found, but I think it's very important now that. I'll put it this way, Jane. Would you prefer the police came to your home and arrested that POS? You know what I mean? Because that's what they would have done. And you know what annoys me most as well? Like, on the Tuesday when she's doing the police interview and they're sitting in the car and they're doing that police interview and they said, right, we, we're going to seal off the house. We need you to move out for, for the time being. She, she was more worried about where they were going to be staying and not giving a second thought about her housemates, where they would be staying. You know what I mean? Those two housemates had to go and find a hotel somewhere or see if a relative was nearby and they could go and stay with them. But I oh, know, don't worry about them, Jen. Just worry about yourself. Like now, you're sticking up for him as usual. We kind of sit back, evaluate everything and kind of think every step of the way where Stefan has been in the past, where I'm going to be right now, because at the end of the day, we want to go get her. Yeah, of course. Oh my God. If just if I knew anything, I would tell you. I just have no fucking idea where you could be. So I know she that. Could be. Say it again, I'm sorry. Or, or any idea where she could be. I said they, but. Yeah. He's here. Dude, was there any, 
the video footage that was caught at the church? What exactly was seen? I, I've heard from other people, but I just... Do you know much? Right. They, here's a lie coming up. This is a lie like it's going to come out of her mouth in a minute. Because I know for a fact she was giving an interview on the Tuesday by Kiss Me Detective. Right? And as he's leaving, he come back and said, yeah, and he showed her on his phone, right, the grainy footage of that church video. And he said, it's not a very good video recording, she said. He said, it's very grainy. He said, but is there anything you can make out of that? He said, well, uh, there's a green top. Right? So she has seen that video. The it looked like someone age that walked by, but it, it's inconclusive. Right? The the it was too grainy. It was the, the video was not. You couldn't determine who it was in the video. Pretty much. So we don't know that she walked by that church. She didn't walk by that church. So the last person. Stuff. Yeah. So we want to know because he's the last person to see her. He claims they've dropped her off at this church before school. Unfortunately, close to the church. Close close to the church. church. You know, unfortunately, we know she doesn't go to school that day. You try and go pick her up. What did after Steph Stefan dropped her off, did he come back home? About how long was he gone for during drop off? I want to say from 8.30 to like 10.15 because um, around 10.15 or 10.20 is when I got a phone call uh, stating that he got home. He had gone to the bait shop, mm -hmm. but I don't know if they weren't open or not yet. Mm -hmm. So he left. Okay. And then hung out around the house and waited till I got back for my doctor's appointment. So he came back home. Yeah, he did come back home. Okay. Um, he grabbed his phone and called me from his from the house at that point. He had let me know that he accidentally left his phone. He was waiting for the vape store to open, but they never opened. Uh, or something like that. And then he went back home. No, he was clever here. He left his phone and her phone. He was very clever there because they could attract him. Literally. From the moment he left that house to the moment he got back and everything. So by leaving his phone, he thought, oh, oh, and oh yeah. And don't forget he did the factory reset on the Monday morning. So he thought, well, I've left my phone at home, so they can't track me. I've left her phone at home, so they can't track us on her phone. Oh, and I've did a reset of my phone Monday morning accidentally, right? So they're not going to find anything on my phone. And then on the Monday evening, midnight Monday, they did, he did another reset of his phone. Another. So he did two resets on his phone on the Monday. Now, the excuse she uses for bringing asking Stefan to come up, is a load of BS. A load of BS. She said she asked Stefan to come up to help her with the dog and with Madeline because of her starting this new job and doing the training. Right? Uh, you wasn't at work. You wasn't at work on the Monday and you wasn't at work on the Tuesday. Right? And you couldn't say, oh, well, it's because I needed sleep. No, you only realised on the Sunday that you hadn't took your medication from the Saturday. So you can't even say that. You asked him to come up before the Sunday. You asked him to come up like Friday or Saturday. Yeah? But why? Oh, so that I get to see more, spend more time with my daughter. No. Right? 
she could just die to get her grands on the Sunday night. Her gran would have took her to school because her gran's office is literally walking distance from the school. Literally. Right? The gran has done it many times before. So the gran could have had her Sunday night, took her to school Monday morning. And then you, the mother of the uh, not, could have gone and collected her. Spent time with her Monday night time. Right? Like you wanted to. And then took her to school Tuesday morning. Pick her up Tuesday. Spent time with her again. But no, you ask that POS who was just a friend, really. He wasn't a boyfriend. He wasn't your partner. He wasn't her stepdaddy. She's got a father. Right? But you ask him to come up to help you with the dog and you had to be up Monday morning anyway to go to the doctor's. So why why couldn't you have just got up at 8 o'clock? Like you did get, apparently you got woken up at 8 o'clock by Stefan trying to get the dog out of the house, which we know is a load of BS. Because it wasn't 8 o'clock when he was trying to take the dog. Because he wasn't there at 8 o'clock. Right? But she could have got up at 8 o'clock. Got Maggie ready for school. Got herself ready. Left for school at what? She, is, she said she normally left about 8.50. Right? Left for school. Took Maggie into school. Dropped her off. Yeah? And she still had 45 minutes from dropping Maggie off at school before her doctor's appointment at quarter past 10. So why can she do that? Why did she need Stefan to come? Right? If she needed a good night's sleep, she could have still sent Maggie up into the bedroom upstairs. But without Stefan, why would you send your daughter upstairs with a guy who's 37? You're not in a relationship with no more. To sleep in his bed. Why? And you know what's so annoying? Is this is going back to April, uh, February 28th? This interview we have now since learned that law enforcement have literally told her we don't care about all the inconsistencies in the interviews before, we don't care about that no more. No, that's a deal you've made with her, we don't care about all that no more. So they're not going to be prosecuting her for lying in a statement, for changing her story. Nothing. Just to give give the time, and then he he, he went back out later. Okay. So from eight thirty to ten fifteen, that's when he's saying the vape shop was closed, and he came back home. I th I think so. Something. I mean, he was. I know he was killing time. He does this. He'll he'll just like to point aimlessly drive around drive around to kill time. I, know, like, I believe him I, when he says that he was killing time. Okay. Um, or at least I did believe him. What, what's like usually, how long does it take to go do her drop off and come back? Like 45 minutes. Okay. So. 45, 50 minutes. So give or take an hour. Yeah. So you, he should have been back home by like 930-ish. Yeah. Okay. But then there's like 45 minutes to 30 minutes of a gap in time there. Yeah. Where could he have gone? He says he was driving around aimlessly, just killing time. Okay. So then he comes home, let's just say around 10, 15 is what you're saying. What time did you get home from your doctor's appointment? I'm going to say somewhere between 11 and 11, 20. And then did he leave again? Yes. How do you know he was home? Because you got, you got the call. I got the call and I think I saw him when I got home. Okay. And then what time did you leave again to go to the vape shop? I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, we are talking about the Wednesday after your daughter's gone missing. And you can't even remember what you did on the Monday or who you saw. Right, his timeline. 0, 0730 hours he was seeing at the jumpster. 
putting something in the dumpster. Eight, ten hours. He was seen coming along South Jong Young Parkway, approaching Thacker Avenue. So he's heading back towards the house. Right? He goes and gets what he said was the clicker. He forgot the clicker to the gate. No, he hadn't because the security guard, we heard you can say, he pulled up and the security guard spoke to him because he said the clicker wasn't working. So we know he had the clicker. Right? Uh, let's have a look. 901, driving off on the International Drive at Central Florida Parkway. Yeah, we know this. 935 parking garage of 9271 South John Young Parkway. This is where he's seen taking little Madeline's body out of the front seat and putting her in the boot. He then leaves that parkway at 941 and we enters at 10 14 hours the complex where I live. 10.54, Stefan throws more trash. Right? So, and we know that because I'd have gotten on camera, plus the housemate says she saw him on the Monday morning and he come in and he's up and down the stairs and out again, up and down, in and out, in and out. And acting really strange. And this is the unbelievable bit. He was doing some laundry. So what was, what was he cleaning? Right? Now, in this interview, you'll hear it. I think it's in this interview. Or was it in the interview? Yes, the other night. She said, I think it was in the interview the other night. She said, how could he kill her without leaving a sign. The only way he could do that is by strangulation or an overdose. Right? Now, my daughter's missing. He's the last one to see her. And I'd sent her up them stairs on the Sunday night. I'd be wanting to see that bedroom. What happened in this room? You know what I mean? She doesn't question him on where he goes, why he's going there, or anything. What was he up there for? The shops aren't up that way. Things like that. She doesn't question him on anything he tells her. She takes it and believes, believes what he's telling her. That's how gullible she was. And even though I don't like Jen Soto, it is known that people like Stefan were latched onto someone like Jen Soto, who's got a young child. She's gullible, right? She's lonely, right? So he'll latch onto someone like that with a young child. Last night, before I went, or was it after I went to bed? No, when I went to bed because I couldn't sleep. I was watching um, Law and Order Special Victims, right? And it was a case about a little lad who had been abused by his stepfather. And how it came about was one woman was with her son and she had, they had a sleepover at this woman's house. And while I was there, she heard this scuffling going on in the bedroom. So she's going in there to see what's going on, like any concerned parent would be. And these two lads were f wrestling on the floor, naked. Right? Nothing on. And they said to the other lad, they said, whose idea was that to go naked? And he said, it was my idea. What this lad was doing... Because his stepfather had been abusing him. He didn't want to tell anyone because the stepfather had met the mother while in a um, shelter housing, right? And the mother, while she's in the shelter, would not sleep on the night time because she stayed awake. She become she got suffered from insomnia in the end. 
She said, I'll stay awake to make sure no one hurt my child. This guy who worked at the uh, house shelter clicked on to her, knew she was vulnerable, knew he had, she had a young child. So he then started to be a relationship with her. They get, they get married. They're in a house, a nice school, everything. And he won't tell, he didn't tell his mother because he didn't want to end up going back to the shelter. Right? And he was acting out what his stepfather used to do to him. Now, do you remember that time when I spoke about how Magdalene doing something when she's very young with the phone? I think she's probably taking photo of her privates. Yeah? And why is that? Because that's what Stefan was doing. So she's acting out, when she was a lot younger, exactly what Stefan was doing to her. Right? Now, if any of my grandkids come in, I started acting out like I go, hold on, what's going wrong here? No, that isn't right. You know what I mean? I'd be questioning it. I'd be onto my son, Simon. Something's not right here. What's going Are you leaving your child or my daughter, whoever it was, I'd be going, something's not right. They're acting out. They're doing this and they shouldn't be doing that. And she didn't click on to that then. That her daughter did something inappropriately at a very young age with a phone. And she didn't get in trouble. She got told off like, like yeah. But she didn't, she didn't get punished, punished. But she's just reenacting what Stefan had been doing to her. She didn't realise that what Stefan had been, was doing was wrong. And that mother didn't know. I got in tomorrow. Give me breath. So you thought you knew him well enough? So our goal, we want to, we want to find her. Can you think of anything of where Stefan would take her? Did they have any special hangout spots? Did they have any places that they would do together while you were at work or you had other things going on in your life? The only place they would go is hanging out at home. There's no place I can think of where they've gone outside. I mean, they've gone shopping to like Target before. Okay. But anywhere else that you can think of. What are you thinking about right now? How this can be true? How I missed the signs? What signs were you? Are you saying you missed? No, like I'm just saying, if there were any signs, I didn't see any. Right. Like these are, I'm, I'm, and I'm not telling you, like these aren't just Google images that we found. Like these are actual images, and I don't want you to. I don't. But this investigation has taken down us down this road. So wherever you think right now, we want to know so we can go get her safely. Of course. I just have no idea. Did they, did, did Stefan ever take her back down to Newport, Richie? Uh, Newport, Florida. Newport, um, Florida. I'm sorry. Uh, alone? No. Alone? You guys would go together? Yeah. Okay. Or, I, or I would drive down. Just hang out. Okay. So when Stefan would not stay at the house with you guys, where else would he stay? In his apartment in, in, North, in his house in Northport, Florida. That's it. But when he would visit here, he would always stay in your house. He would never go get a hotel or stay at a friend's house or anything like that. No, he's here. Okay. 
Why did he go to Newport, Florida this morning? This morning? Yeah. Um, I'm just curious. I heard a rumor that he possibly went down there. No, I don't know. That is maybe lost in translation. No, he didn't. He was. We were. We were in the hotel. If anything, he stepped out to go get some wawa. Okay. And then he came back. But how long was he gone for? I was. Does he have a new phone? Since we have his, or? I think his dad may have handed him a new phone. Okay. Do you know the phone number to that new phone? No. What's his dad do? Works in real estate. I think he's a broker. Um, so look, we're, we just need any information. Any. No, I know. I know, but there's nothing I can give you. There's nothing I can... Did you communicate with Stefan on the new phone with your phone? No. no. I just want to... I believe I believe you. I want to believe you, but I won't believe you until I see actual. Are you sure you want to see that? I'll I'll go get it. Are you sure you want to see that? Take my take my word of advice. I'm I wouldn't, you know, blow smoke up your butt and tell you, you know, that's that's a fake picture. I wouldn't do that to you. I would. I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I'll be more than happy to show you those images, but I don't know if I would want to see those, but if you want to see them, that's your own prerogative. Can you tell me what's being done in the photos? She has a penis in her mouth. And that picture that you said that the stuff identified that Stefan's penis around her, I zoomed in on that photo because in that picture, in her mouth. Do you need any more water? Are you okay? I literally thought I was coming here for the press conference, but this is not what we're here for. I know. And it's unfortunate that, you know, these are the details that we found, but I think it's very important now that we kind of sit back, evaluate everything, and kind of think every step of the way where Stefan has done in the past, where he be right now, because at the end of the day, we want to go get her. Yeah, of course. Oh my gosh. If just if I knew anything, I would tell you. I just have no fucking idea where you could be. So or I know she that. Could be. Say again, I'm sorry. Or, or any idea where she could be. I said they, but yeah. he's here. Did, was there any, the video footage that was caught at the church, what exactly was seen? I, I've heard from other people, but I just. Do you know much? The, it looked like someone Age that walked by, but it, it's inconclusive. Right, the the it was too grainy. It was the, the video was not. You couldn't determine who it was in the video. We much. seen that video. So we don't know that she walked by that church. So the last person. Stuff. Yeah. So we want to know because he's the last person to see her. He claims to have dropped her off at this church before school. Unfortunately, I'm close to the church. Close to the church. Speaking up for him. You know, unfortunately, we know she doesn't go to school that day. Right. You try and go pick her up. What did after Steph Stefan dropped her off? Did he come back home? About how long was he gone for during drop off? I want to say from eight thirty to like ten fifteen because um, around ten fifteen or ten twenty is when I got a phone call uh, stating that he got home. He had gone to the vape shop, mm -hmm. but I don't know if they weren't open or not yet. Mm -hmm. So he left. Okay. 
and then hung out around the house and waited till I got back for my doctor's appointment. So he came back home. Yeah, he did come back home. Okay. Um, he grabbed his phone and called me from his from the house at that point. He had let me know that he accidentally left his phone. He was waiting for the vape store to open, but they never opened, uh, or something like that. And then he went back home just to give give it time, and then he 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 went back out later. Okay. So from eight thirty to ten fifteen, that's when he's saying the vape shop was closed, and he came back home. I th I think so. Something. I mean. He was, I know he was killing time. He does this. He'll, he'll just like to point, aimlessly drive around, drive around to kill time. I believe him when he says that he was killing time. Um, or at least I did believe him. What, what's like usually, how long does it take to go do her drop off and come back? Like 45 minutes. Okay. So. 45, 50 minutes. So give or take an hour. Yeah. So you, he should have been back home by like 930-ish. Yeah. Okay. But then there's like 45 minutes to 30 minutes of a gap in time there. Yeah. Where could he have gone? He says he was driving around aimlessly, just killing time. Okay. So then he comes home, let's just say around 10, 15 is what you're saying. What time did you get home from your doctor's appointment? I'm going to say somewhere between 11 and 11 and 20. And then did he leave again? Yes. How do you know he was home? Because you got you got the call? Because I got the call and I think I saw him when I got home. Okay. And then what time did he leave again to go to the vape shop? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure what time he left. And then... Oh, actually, hold on. Let me think. Do you guys have a ring at your house? A ring doorbell? Mm -hmm. Do you have any video doorbell system? Do you have any cameras in the house? No. I'm going to say I'm going to say he left around somewhere between 12:30 and 1 o'clock because I remember looking at the time going I don't think he's going to be done in time running his errands to be back by 2:30 oh, shall be. Yeah, she's crazy. Okay. And He's he said he ran his errands. He stopped at a few comic shops or game stores or something like that. Then he got a fly, flat tire somewhere on 182. He doesn't remember exactly where. Um, he, I remember him telling me he hurt himself um, changing the spare tire. How did he hurt himself? Something slipped while he was... Um, Doing something with the what's the crank the, that pops up that brings the up lift or yeah yeah you know, the jack something slipped and his finger got caught between the frame and the jack I think so okay. he had to pull out his finger um which I know he's had a band aid on his finger right now because of that um so what time do you leave the house to go two thirty two thirty yeah she gets that at four. I, I, it takes me about 20 minutes to get to school, and then I wait about an hour or an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, for the car line and everything? Yeah. Okay. I like to be the first in line. So at what point did you think, hmm, something's up? Around 4.10 when she did not come out of school, and I was the first in line. I was holding up the line. I was on the first in line, there's cars behind me, and they already have their kids. Right. So when I noticed she had not come out, I drove away thinking, maybe I missed her. She drove away. Right. Now, this is my daughter who has not come out of school. She's normally first out, but she's not today. Okay, you're going to hold the line up. As I pointed out on the map, she could have drove her out of the school and gone and parked in near the car park. Right? Go out the car, say quarter past four. Right? And gone into the school wanting to find her daughter, wanting to know where her daughter was. But no, no, she don't do any of that. She's right there at the school and she doesn't even go inside to inquire where her daughter is.
Maybe I forgot to tell her that I was picking her up from school today because I have a new work schedule. Mm -hmm. So um, what do you do for work again? I'm sorry. I work uh, at Walt Disney World uh, front desk concierge at uh, Coronado Springs. Okay. Um, I just recently, that's the biggest reason I even called Stefan was to come help me this week with, with her, with her, um, getting her to school, helping with the dog. That, that, that's the whole reason I even called him to, was to come help me. But you had the Monday off. You had the Tuesday off. You had to go up Monday morning anyway for your doctor's appointment. So why couldn't you have just got up at 8 o'clock, got yourself ready, got Magdalene could get herself ready, you get yourself ready, right? Do a packed lunch if you're going to do a packed lunch, whatever. Drive her to school for attention on like you normally said you do, 8.50. Drop her off at school. You still had time to get to your doctor's appointment at 10.50. You didn't need that piece of shit there. You didn't. Plus, you hadn't been with him for months. For months. You, you haven't slept in the same bed as each other for since what? Middle of middle of 2023? If that. And if you go back and you leave it in this interview, you hadn't had any sexual uh, relations with him since 2022. So your relationship was really dead and buried. You had family who could help you. They have helped you. They helped you the week before. So, what was the harm in uh, you getting up at 8 o'clock on the Monday morning? Oh, she needed to sleep. Yeah, forgot that. Um, and what car did he come up in north from, the, from down there? In, in his dad's Cadillac. Okay. All right. So you kind of get some, some concerns when she's not coming out. She's not coming out. So I drove off this along, this along the same path she would have walked. I didn't see her. Is she here yet? She goes, no. And I said, oh, maybe I missed her. Maybe, maybe she Does she still sometimes still walk home from school? Yeah, she does. To, to. And then you pick her up from there? Yeah. Okay. Um, she didn't make it. Um, so I drove back to... I think at this point I had called her best friend to ask because I went to pick her up from school and I didn't see her. Right. And she said, no, she never made it to first or second period. Okay. And I was like, can you please check with your other friends to see if she made it to her other periods? Mm -hmm. I think at this point I emailed her teacher. Right. Snapchat? I don't believe so, no. Okay. She just has an Instagram? Uh, yeah. Okay. So office you realize she's not there either is this when you go home no i um go back to the school to go to i walk drive the path again to see if i missed her and then i go back to the school to check with school to check their attendance because mm -hmm. her brother's telling me she never made it but when i got to the school the school was already closed mm -hmm. so i drove back i think at this point i had gotten a response from one of her her teachers telling me she never made it to my period and then he checked the attendance for the rest of the day she never made it to any of the periods gotcha okay um this is when i start to panic and freak out because i know something is wrong sorry i just thought about that image i can't believe you can spot any of the cat signs what was uh, Stefan's reaction when you I called him and I said, she never made it to school. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, she got dropped off. I was like, you dropped her off? She never made it to school. Mm -hmm. I said, please come to the office right now. He goes, okay, I'm heading there right now. So he called us, came to the office. And you're driving your car and he 
He was driving his car? Yeah. Okay. And um, he made it to the office and then we saw where she might be. Mm -hmm. We were both sitting there pretty upset, pretty distraught, um, just thinking of the worst case scenarios. Eventually we found out that there were missing, also two other missing children in the area and that all the cops had gone to a park. So one of my family members went to the park to speak to an officer to try to get an officer to come back to the office and he did. And then he took a report. Mm -hmm. uh, that was about 7.30, I think. Monday night? Yeah. And what's Stefan's kind of demeanor been since then? He's been absolutely a mess. Do you think he would ever hurt? I don't think he would, no. Okay. I understand. Like, like, I believe you when you talk to me about those images. Mm -hmm. Those images might be real. Though you believe him when you talk about those images, those images might be real. Oh my God, uh, they are real. Why? Why do you say um, I believe you when you talk about those? Because they are real. Not might be real. They are real. Right. Why, I swear to God, if that had been my daughter, right, and say my partner was taking her to school, I'd be, I'd be, oh, I'd be knocking this two lumps of whatever out of the person to find out where my daughter was. You're the last one to see her. Where is she? You know what I mean? But she doesn't. And that's what annoys me. The fact that she still does not believe that Stefan would hurt her daughter. And apparently, I'm going to have to check this out. I have got the interviews, the notes, the statements from her friends that apparently one of her friends said she did tell her mum, but her mum didn't believe her. So I'm going to have to check them out again and see, see if it's in them notes, them papers that I've got. But I know Grizzly True Crime has got the video, the audio video, but she don't want to play them because they're minors, which I can understand. So she's going to look into seeing if she can alter the voices of the of them. Right? So that no one would recognise the voices. And like when I was going through the paperwork on this one sheet, they had their names out there. And I think, ooh, and I was going through every piece of informa that sheet, that information I had, just one piece of information. And I was blacking out the names and everything. Even those of her ex-husband and his daughter's name, they left in. I think, no, no, these are minors. These are young children. Their name shouldn't be in here. This is her ex-husband. His name shouldn't be in here. You know what I mean? The names of the housemates should not be in there because it's not fair on them. Especially the young kids from school. Or they've, they've happened, but I don't believe they're related to this case. I don't think. It's been going on. It's been going on. Like, uh, and I wish I could say, you know, it's not true. It's not. I mean, we have images we have them i looked at them this That's goes the all the way back to 2022 some of those pictures i understand it's a lot to take in right now i can only imagine what you're going through but 
we need to know literally everything. We, I mean, at the end of the day, like I've told you many, many times, the sheriff's office main goal here, we want to find and bring her back home. That's what we want. But we need your help. We can only do so much. You're, you're with her on a daily basis. You understand, you understand everything. But at the end of the day, we just need to know. Did he make any mention of going anywhere, taking her somewhere when he came into town? I know you said they like to play games together. And prior to coming up Sunday, when's the last time he's been here? I see it's been over a month. Okay. Has she ever made any comments to you about sex or anything like that? Being abused or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. So there might have been a little bit of miscommunication here, but a Kissimmee police officer detective is going to come speak to you about everything that we just talked about, okay? okay. Um, so they're going to come talk to you with an Orange County detective. So I don't want to go too much further into it with you because they're going to go a little bit deeper. They know a lot more than I do, okay? So they'll be able to explain explain a little bit more to you. Is that, is that fair? In the meantime, do you need to use the bathroom or anything? It's okay. Take your time. Do you need it? If this was me, and I've just seen photos of my daughter with my partner's pee in her mouth, knowing she's only 13 and knowing this has been going on for two years minimum, but we know it went back to at least four years, right? I'd be feeling physically sick. I think I would have been sick. I don't think I'd be wanting to see more photos because I'd be physically sick knowing and seeing what I've just seen. Do you need more water? I'm going for a coffee. Okay. Are they coming for Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you're not going to have to go anywhere. I don't want to see those images, but I do. I feel like I need prove evidence, but like I'm afraid of being traumatized forever, so I'm not sure what to do. That's okay. And the, the Kissimmee detective will we'll go over everything with you, okay? Can I get you anything? How long have you been working at Coronado Springs for? Less than two weeks. Oh, so you just you just started there? Yeah. Are you just like in training or how does it work? Yeah, I'm in training. 
Okay. What'd you do before that? I was a substitute teacher for a little bit, but for the most part, for the last few years, I've just been living off disability. Okay. That shocked me, hearing that she used to be a substitute teacher. I wonder if it was a substitute teacher or like a classroom assistant. Because I was a classroom assistant. And I've got, you know what I mean? So for her to sit there and say she was a substitute teacher, I'm thinking, but you didn't pick up on the signs of your own daughter? your head? No, oh, just, just a lot of anxiety. Just thinking about how, just how I didn't know. I didn't see anything. Let's say all the sexual stuff did happen, or we know it happened. What if he's telling the truth about dropping her off and driving away and driving around circles and getting to the vape shop? Is there video evidence of him? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you're forgetting. So you're you're willing to let the all the sexual stuff go by? Yeah, yeah. You, just let's say that didn't happen. It did happen. It did. So you cannot just brush that under the carpet, love. Your daughter was SI'd by that POS. You cannot just brush that under the carpet. You can't. And the fact that you are still harping on about what if he did take us to school and he did drop her off by the church. He didn't drop her off by the church. Oh, my God. Lord, I feel sick just listening to this. I'm at the, in front of the vape store, uh, vape store, because I know there's banks around, uh, right in that same plaza. There, there must, and then Amscot. There must be video of him. Pull yes, they've got all that. They've got all that, mate. Love, they know. They know where he was. They're just not telling you. Pulling into that plaza and waiting. Um. What do you mean? What's your question? If you guys have found evidence of him being in front of the store like he said he was, mm -hmm. like it's possible that his story might be true and somebody else could have taken her. Like I'm just thinking like what if we're focusing like, okay, the sex things happened, right? But what if that's completely side, like a side thing and not having to do with this, like her missing? Yeah. What, what uh if? Something I got you. So, so just like Detective Kalise explained, that's why the uh, the Kissimmee detective and the Orange County detective um, are going to come and talk to you about it. Obviously, it's it's two two different things that we're talking about, but they may be tied together. They may not. We're not sure. But that's why we we want to talk to you and get as much information as possible. That's what the detectives are going to uh, come and talk to you and you know try to help us out. Get as much information. Am I allowed to talk to my sister right now? Uh, right now, just just hang on for right now um, until after they're done. I think I'm at the press conference, but I'm not. Can you tell me you weren't there? 
I just want to know what was said at the press conference. What did I miss? The, they'll let you know. What are you worried about that you missed? Nothing, just if there's a new piece of information that I haven't heard or something. But I know you guys are keeping me in the loop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just keep hoping. What are you worried about missing? Some information. But you're keeping me in the loop. I don't get that. Why are you worried? Hold on, I'm going to go back. I know, I know. Hi. And the Orange County detective um, are going to come and talk to you about it. Obviously, it's it's two two different things that we're talking about, but they may be tied together. They may not. We're not sure. But that's why we, we want to talk to you and get as much information as possible. That's what the detectives are going to uh, come and talk to you and, you know, try to help us out. And get as much information. Am I allowed to talk to my sister right now? Uh, right now, just just hang on for right now um, until after they're done. I think I'm at the press conference, but I don't know. Can you tell me oh, you weren't there? I just want to know what was said at the press conference. What did I miss? The will let you know. She's more... Uh, please! Oh, God, I don't get this woman. She's more worried about what she missed at the press conference than the fact that they've just shown her pictures of her partner with his pee in her daughter's mouth. She's just been told this has been going on for back to 2022. I mean, no, it's gone back further since, right? And yet she's worried about what she may have missed at the press conference. Oh, oh God, so I give me strength. See, I missed a lot of what she was saying in the when I watched it on my TV. So as I said, I was watching it like this morning at one o'clock because I've got up. Even though it says I was asleep, I wasn't. I was up. And I was watching this and I couldn't turn my TV up too loud because I know at one o'clock where I live it would echo and my neighbours next door would hear the TV and things like that. So I thought, no, I'll be nice, I'll be nice now and I'll keep the volume down. I didn't think about putting, I don't think I can get um, subtitles on the TV. I don't know. But I was having difficulty hearing what she was saying because it's like, yes, yeah, she was in a bit of a shock. Yeah, but she was still sticking up for that POS. What are you worried about that you missed? Nothing, just if there's a new piece of information that I haven't heard or something. But I know you guys are keeping me in the loop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you worried that they might have said something about your involvement? Is that the reason why, Jen? Are you involved? Perhaps not with the unaliving. We definitely know you weren't involved in the essaying I will, and I don't think he was involved with the unaliving but do you know what happened after your daughter was unalived to the point of when she they got he got her out of that house as I said it had to be before 6 47 in the morning because that was when sunrise was that morning 6 47 so whatever happened, happened between, I'd say, 11.30 and I'd say, not even 6.47, I'd say 6 a.m. 
because Ron housemate said she heard some thumping, like banging noises, banging around in the bedroom about 2.30. So I even narrow it down to something happened between 11 when you sent him up to the room and 2.30 in the morning. I just keep hoping. I'm just hoping she's still out there and she's still alive. I don't think Stefan would have died in her. Oh, God. I don't think she'll be working at Disney um, anytime soon. I just a from Stefan Staff asking where he could, because I guess he was at the conference. Mm -hmm. Now he's just waiting. Okay. He's asking where he can wait. He can wait either in the front lot of, uh, sorry, it's the west lobby. So it's the one where the big flagpoles are in, it's the main entrance. Or he can wait in the car. the west lobby the main entrance with all the flags yeah yeah with the big flagpoles it's the one that says orange county sheriff's office uh, uh right at the front so would not stefan's father be curious as to where she was and he was during that press release because i would have been thinking hold on there's Where's Jen? Where's Stefan? Shouldn't they be here? You know what I mean? So... She seems more worried about everyone else than what is actually... It's on the... The easiest way to find it is on the Colonial Drive side. Is Colonial Drive this, this room right here? Um, it's the, it's not the one that you guys came through. It's the other one. The one that goes uh, east to west. Oh, Tell him to wait in the car. Area. Good area. Hello, my name is Mark. I work with the Kissimmee Police Department. Okay, great. Thank you. That's your work phone? No. Is that what? But 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 that's the. the... Okay, thank you. So the reason I am here, or we are here, is because we think when went missing you live in our city limits okay um so that's the reason we got involved now okay you understand yeah all right so i'm i understand you probably answered a lot of questions and you've got a lot of stuff going on um i am apologizing now i may ask you the same things that you've already been asked that's just because i like to hear it for myself okay and i know you've been speaking with her quite a bit and but we want to do what we can as soon as possible, okay? So that's our main focus right now. All right. So but before I get started, your first name is Jennifer, right? Yes. And your last name is? 
Still go as well. So what's your telephone number? 718-938-1553. Okay. And you live... What apartment number is that? Uh, building... Really, they should give her entity her phone number out. But if she's got any sense, she's probably... I know I would have... I'd have got a new phone by now. A new phone number, at least. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to ask you, and once again, I apologize. So on Monday... Gone to school. Is that right? Okay. Um, so tell me how that morning went. Actually, let's go the night prior. Okay. So, so night prior, she had had a birthday party. I couldn't be there because I was at work. Mm -hmm. Where do you work at? Uh, Disney World. Uh, I'm front desk at Coronado Springs. Okay. She went. She had a birthday party. She had a good time. She spent the entire time with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, later that evening around 8 30 my sister dropped her off at my house well she wasn't having a good time at first because her friend said she was very upset when she got there she was really upset at first because a lot of the friends that she invited had dropped out so that's how much notice you take of your daughter on her 13th birthday party the 13th birthday is most significant, one, one of the first most significant dates in any child's life because they're going from being a child sort of thing to a teenager, that's why you got 13 because she's now she was now going to be, she was now, when she passed, when she was on the line, she was a teenager. And you didn't pay any attention to her, did you, Jane? Hmm. She was upset on the Friday as well. Why was that? And she started getting ready for bed, or doing her nighttime routine, which is take her meds and get in the shower. Mm -hmm. About 10 minutes after she arrived, Stefan arrived. Coincidence or what? And he let me know that she was doing what she was supposed to be doing. Um, he arrived. Um, he made sure she was doing what she was needed to be doing. Um, I got home around 1030 and saw that she was almost ready for bed. Uh, I ate. We talked for a little bit. Asked how the birthday party was to show me her gifts, how everything went, mm -hmm. and then she went to bed. Um, we sent it to bed. Be honest. And this is around. You said around ten thirty. She went to bed. Around eleven. Eleven. Okay. At this point, I sent them. We have two bedrooms. Uh, we're a four bedroom townhouse, but we, there's a bedroom and a guest bedroom. Okay. I sent them upstairs to the guest bedroom because I had not slept well the night before. I had forgotten my psychiatric meds and I was feeling off. I was not feeling okay. So when I got home from work, I said, guys, I needed a, a good night's sleep. They all wanted to sleep in my bed, all three of us together. Right. First of all, why would Stefan, who you was not in a relationship with, want to sleep in the same bed as you. He'd moved out of your bed in 2023. You hadn't had any sexual relationship with him since 2022. So why would he want to sleep in the same bed? And now if I was a mother, I'd be going, Stefan, we're going to bed now. You do what you got to do, but you need to go. You need to leave this bedroom you can sit in the living room you can go up to up to the guest room whatever but we're going to bed now and that's what i just said but oh no 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 she said she needed a good sleep and all three of us them together in a 
king size bed. No, it's not working. Uh, I had a king size bed. And we got a king size bed, me and my husband did, because the reason behind it was because at first it used to be our son would climb into bed with us. But then when we moved to this one place, he stopped climbing into bed with us, which was great, brilliant. But then, no, no, that wasn't going to last long. My daughter started climbing into bed with us. And she was legs and arms and everything everywhere. You wake up some days with her legs around your neck. Honest. God, get your feet off me. Right? But that didn't last long. She started to sleep in her own room by within a few months of that happening. Right? But we had a king size bed and that was big enough for three people. As I said, my daughter was all over the place. Okay. Is that normal? Yeah, for us to do that, yeah. Okay. Um when he's with me, mm -hmm. um, if he's around he'll sleep upstairs sometimes in the guest bedroom or with us in our bed. Mm -hmm. But the three of us on my bed is pretty uncomfortable. It's, it's a king. Sleeps like a monkey, she just kicks <laughs> and punches. One or two, I know. Yeah. <sighs> Chill up on the Run. Something that was brought up when I watched this at early hours of this morning was how, because she kicks and punches out. Why was she kicking and punching out in her sleep? Was she dreaming and reenacting, like hitting out and punching to get someone away from her? You know what I mean? So, perhaps that was her, her body reacting to what she couldn't actually do physically. And it's her way of punching out and kicking out in her sleep. Because she was dreaming of what was, what was done to her. On one side and wake up on the other. It's just, yeah. Um... So I asked them to sleep upstairs that night to give me a good night's sleep. And they said, okay, they would. And from what I'm, and as, I'm, as far as I'm aware, they went, they went upstairs, they went to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, I was woken up around, I want to say eight o'clock in the morning on Monday mm -hmm. uh, by Stefan trying to put the leash on the dog to walk him. And I got up to try to help him with it, but Stefan got it and walked him and told me to go back to bed. So I went back to bed. Okay. I heard people in the kitchen. I'm not sure exactly who because I do have roommates mm -hmm. and they're up at all hours. Well, one roommate speaks very little English. So you'd know if it was her, right? And you should know your daughter's voice and you'd know Stefan's voice. So the only other voice that you hear is the other housemate. So I'm sure you'd hear her. But at 8 o'clock, the other housemate is up and out. She said herself, she's up and out by, I can't remember whether it was 6.45 or 7.45, she was out the house. Because she takes her son to her parents, who takes her son then to school. Why? Because she, his school starts at 9 and she has to be at work from 9. So she take her son to her parents' house and they will take him to school. So it wouldn't be her because she's up and out by 7.30, quarter to 7, the latest. Now, we know Stefan wasn't in because we've got him on camera throwing Trash, trash, a, a bag, a white tr trash bag in the bin, in the big garbage bins at 7.30. So he wasn't in the house at 8 o'clock. So what time did he wake you up? Because it wasn't 8 o'clock.
So I heard somebody in the kitchen. I assume for school. Um, on her nightstand, I see. I know she walked into the kitchen, into her bedroom to get ready and all that because she left her phone on her dresser in her bedroom. And I know she did that while she was getting ready that morning. No, she, what is considered her bedroom? Where? In the living room. Okay. Uh, we've got like a little wall partition mm -hmm. and she's got a bedroom in the living room. It's got a bed, a dresser, a desk, and a TV. Well, come on. She didn't even have her own bedroom. So why would she want sleep in a little partitioned area in the living room. Why? I know why we're going to. Not a teenager anyway. A teenager needs their own room. They need their own space. No wonder she was getting behind in her work. She had nowhere she had of her own. She doesn't sleep there though. Um, she just hangs out there during the day. That's her space. Mm -hmm. um, She'll hang out there. Um, but yeah, she got ready, uh, supposedly, and they were off. They left to, work, to school early. I'm not sure what time they left. What time does her school start, do you know? Uh, she's got to be at school at the latest by um, 9.28. What, do you know what time her school starts? 9.28. Okay. Um, from what I was told, he dropped her off somewhere between 8.30 and 8.45, or somewhere along that line, uh, around that time. And Stefan told you this? Um, actually, that timeline might be from what the cameras the, the church cameras you guys have told me about but we don't know if that was really her so i'm not sure about the timeline anymore he said he, he he went i think he had given me a timeline of he dropped her off somewhere between 8 20 and 8 45 but he's not sure exactly what time okay. uh he said they were making good time that morning he was like super impressed with how quickly she got up got ready and was out the door uh, i know she wanted uh to meet up her friends with her friends at school early and I know Did she, she tell you that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I know she wanted um, McDonald's early that morning for breakfast. Mm -hmm. But um, Stefan said she was asleep in the car for the majority of the car ride. And he kept trying to talk to her and talk her into getting McDonald's. Mm -hmm. But she kept saying, no, no, just drop me off. Okay. Um, so this is where she got dropped off somewhere on the road, close to school. And... And I don't know what happened to her, but this, this is what I was being told happened that morning. Gotcha. And then you went to pick her up after school. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I left the house at 2.30. Uh, school is not let out till 4 o'clock, but it takes me about 20 minutes to drive 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I wait that hour outside. I like being the first car in line. I like being the first. Through the line, if you know. Exactly. Um, so I like um, I waited that hour and something minutes for four o'clock to show four or four is when the bell rings. Um, waited there for until like four ten and she didn't come out. Um, that only sounds like a few minutes, but in those few minutes, the cars behind me got full of children. Mm -hmm. I'm the first in line, so there's cars behind mm -hmm. me already picking up the children. They're waiting to get out. Mm -hmm. So I felt pressured and rushed. So I decided to drive away. I'm like, she's not here, something's wrong. Or maybe I forgot to tell her that I was picking her up. Maybe she just decided to walk. She'll do this sometimes, this mm -hmm. is pretty close to the school. So I decided to drive along the path that she would have walked. And I asked, has she made it? And they said, no. And I said, okay, let me drive the path again and see if I see her along the way. Drive along the path, I park on, on the road where she would be walking, and I waited there for about 15 minutes and nothing. She didn't appear. At this point, I returned back to the office. She should have been at the office by this point. It's like 4.35. Mm -hmm. She did not appear. 
So at this point, I call her best friend and I ask her best friend. With you, I, I don't think I told her I was coming to pick her up, but she's not walking or she's not at school. And she said, no, she never made it to first or second period. And I said, what do you mean? She got dropped off. And she's like, she never made it to first or second period. Um, I said, can you please check with your other friends to see if she made it to her other periods? At this point, I start panicking and I drive back to the school to check her attendance. But the school had office had already closed. So I what time was this? This is around 4.45. Okay. Um, and the school was closed already? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think they closed at like 4.30. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to the school. I rang the bell. They were closed. Nobody was opening the door. Um, so uh, we decided to leave. But I had already emailed one of her teachers. I think when I had spoke to her best friend, I had emailed a teacher. Um, the teacher confirmed that she never made it to his period and never made it to any of her other periods that day. Um, Did she say, so we, we decided to leave? <coughs> she said, she <coughs> she said she walked up to the school and rang the bell and no one answered. No one opened the door. So we decided to leave. Who's the we? Who's the we? Who was she with? Um, he checked her attendance for the whole day. Mm-hmm. When he told me this, I realized something was really wrong. It's truly wrong. Mm-hmm. And a panic attack. And, and what time was this? I want to say around 4.45, 4.50. Okay. Um, and yeah, uh, I called Stefan. I asked Stefan, I'm like, did you drop her off? He said, yeah, why? I'm like, she never made it to school. He's like, what? What do you mean? Um, I'm like, I don't know. Just she's not here. She's not here. Um, and he drove immediately to the office mm-hmm. and then waited with me. I was having a panic attack, um, trying to stay calm, but it was really hard. Um, I think we waited about three hours for the police to show up. I think two children had gone missing around the same time uh, in a park nearby. So all the cops were answering that call. Um, Eventually a family member went over to the park and spoke to an officer and let him know, hey, there's another missing child. Please come take the report. Mm -hmm. So they followed him and brought him to the office. And then... um, he took down our statements and made the report and then everything, the process started. Um, okay. They were there for, I'm going to say, one to two hours and then, then it was time to go home. Okay. Um, so ever since then, since the officer took the report, the deputy took the report, have you been looking for, have you been driving around? I've been staying at home just in case she comes home. Okay. My family, I have a huge family. Mm-hmm. They've been driving around. They've been walking the walking path behind the school. Um, they've been handing out, they've handed out like a thousand flyers already. Mm-hmm. Um, they're the ones who contacted the news. Um, Has she gone missing before? Never. She never ran away, even if it's for a couple hours or anything like that? Um, so when you physically or talked to her, it was the night before, yes. is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And how was she then? What was her demeanor? Happy. She had the best birthday party. Mm-hmm. She, was, she loved her presents, her gifts. She had a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Um, so she was showing me all that. Um, yeah. Okay. So... How was her sleeping habits? I know you said she was up in Adam in the morning. Is she, because some kids like to sleep all day, some kids get up and then they're ready to go. What's she like? So when she sleeps with me and I have to wake her up, Mm -hmm. she's difficult. She'll snooze three, four times. We'll hit the alarm a few times, let it ring, and then go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Let it ring and then go back to sleep. when it's her waking up herself and she sets her own alarms on her phone, which is what I think she did that morning, um, 
she usually gets up pretty quickly. She doesn't stay. She'll get up. She'll immediately go do what she needs to do. And then she'll either lay back down in bed and snooze until it's time to go. Mm -hmm. Or, um, or yeah, just be ready to go. Do you take her to school? Yeah. Okay. When you take her to school, where do you drop her off at? At the school. Okay, so you pull in through the line and drop her off at the front and stuff like yeah. that. When she goes to school, when you take her to school, is she talkative in the car or does she, what does she do on the way there? Not really. She'll be on her phone, we'll listen to the radio station um, or listen to some Taylor Swift. Um, yeah, she's pretty quiet she, or she'll, she'll be snoozing, sleeping. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. So going back to Stefan, was Stefan at the birthday party? No. No, oh, okay. He was traveling from Northport, Florida to Kissimmee. Where's Northport? Sarasota okay. County. Oh, okay. Um, and he got here when? So if she dropped off, dropped off around 9.30, 8.30, he probably showed up around 9, uh, 8.45. Did you know he was coming? Yes. Okay. Um, so I, you guys hang I, out? What did you guys do that night? Okay. Yeah. What did we do that night? Um, I only spent about 30 minutes with them because I had to go to sleep. I had to take my meds and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't really need to go to sleep because they have to go to school or she had to go to school. Um, I usually like making bedtime around 1030. So when I got there and she was still up, I understood why she was still up. She was waiting for me and wanted mm -hmm. to show me all her presents and stuff. By 11, I'm just like, you guys need to go to bed. It's late. Like, it's super late. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. Is it normal if he comes to see you that he or Yes, it's normal for him to sleep upstairs in the guest bedroom. Okay. What makes it different from when he, he sleeps with? Or the three of you or upstairs by himself? It all depends on the circumstance of what's going on. For the most part, if it's a school week and school, I send them upstairs because I know that my alarms are going to go off multiple times super early in the morning and I don't want to wake him up. Mm -hmm. um, it's difficult to wake up, so I have to constantly be talking to her, shaking her. Um, so I, um, for the most part, it's downstairs and he goes upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, What made it different that night? For the fact that I forgot my bipolar meds Saturday night, mm -hmm. and I was not acting normal Sunday, and I realized Sunday night, oh my God, I forgot my meds Saturday night, which is why I've been so freaking weird today. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I need to take these meds, and I need to sleep. I need like a good night's sleep. I can't, I can't wake up early in the morning. I can't take her. I can't do any of that. Like, I, I need you to do it. Mm -hmm. That's primarily the reason I told them to come from. Wow. Yeah. She can't wake up early in the morning. Well, according to her story, she's woken up at 8 o'clock anyway by Stefan. And her alarm was set for 9 a.m. So why couldn't she have just set her alarm for 8 a.m., got up and sorted the daughter out and took her to school, take her to school? That is so selfish. Florida to help me was this week because of of, of training at work. Uh, I needed I needed help. I needed support. Um, so I invited him up um, to help me with that. Um, did you work on Monday? No, I'm sorry. You're off. Okay. Um, so Monday during the day, what would what, you do throughout the day? I had a blood work appointment at 10, 15, 10, 30. That took a little while to be seen. Did Stefan go with you? No. Um, he was not home. When, he had not gotten home by the time I left. Do you remember um, the time you left? Around, I think, 9.30. Um, and where was your blood work at? 
for about 15 minutes away. Which way? Towards Kissimmee or Orlando? Towards Orlando. It's it's on the border of Kissimmee and Orlando. It's in the loop. It's across the okay. street from the loop. Mm -hmm. um, there's so her appointment was at 10.15, right? She left at 9.30-ish. Even 9.45. She'd have been there by 10 a.m., the latest. Because if she'd have left at 9.30, she'd have been there by quarter to 10. And if she'd have left at quarter to 10, she'd have been there by 10. I have never, ever, ever gone to my doctor's half an hour or even... If I've got an appointment for my doctor's for, say, quarter past nine, say, quarter past ten, I literally walk through the door at about ten past ten. And I sit there for a few minutes before the doctor calls me. I wouldn't turn up 15 minutes early or even half an hour early. So why does she feel sad to leave that early? You know what I mean? It doesn't make... None of what she says makes sense. None of it. There's uh, doctors, a doctor plaza there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lab court there. So I went to lab court when I got there. Okay. okay. Um, waited there for a while. Then I must have gotten home sometime between, let's say, 11.15, 11.30, something mm -hmm. like that. Or, from 11 to 11 30 sometimes um and he was there uh and but before that while i was at my a blood work appointment he actually called me he said hey i'm sorry i left my phone at home i was running some errands uh <coughs> this morning she, we made super great time she got ready super fast we left super early uh i offered her mcdonald's multiple times but she refused so she asked to be dropped off early, um, and so he did. Um, did she ever go to school? Did she ever ask to go? Because sometimes kids don't want to go to school, period. Is yeah. it normal for her to ask to be dropped off early? Uh, yes, sometimes. Okay. She's, she's asked me multiple times, multiple times to ask her to drop her off early. She wants to meet up with her friends, or she mm -hmm. wants to get there earlier and earlier just to meet up with her, with her friends. But you still drop her off at the school? Yes. Okay. So she hangs out with her friends within the school? Yes. Okay. Um, the only reason I think he did not take her to school directly that morning is because she has voiced multiple times, hey, is Stefan taking me to school? Can you please drop me off far away? She's embarrassed by his car. It's a Cadillac. It's not that old. But to her, it's an old hoopty. She can't be seen in it. She doesn't want to be seen in it. Hold on. Hold on. His dad gave him that car to use when he was coming back up to you. This visit. On that visit, his dad said, use this car because your car has been running to the ground. It needs some work done on it. I don't trust you being in the car. You could, you know what I mean? It wasn't safe. So his dad gave him that car to use for him to come up to visit for that visit. So before... Because the, the housemate says, and I've got that interview, and we will be listening to that interview, right? Not tonight, though. But um, the housemate said she didn't see Stefan's car because she wasn't looking for that car he came in. She was looking for another car. Right? So the fact that she's using that, oh, she don't like the uh, Cadillac, it's an old car and all this lot. No. No, he'd only just been given that car by his dad to use, and that was the car that his mum and dad would use for their puppies to take them to the vets and whatever. Because they called it the pup ambulance. So, saying that she didn't like that car doesn't... Fit, what, fit with me. It doesn't. Because he was only given that car to come up to you in February. Before then, he'd been using his other car. But his dad said it wasn't safe to be on the road. 
because his dad said he, he didn't care, take care of his cars, he used to run them to the ground. Why? And as the housemate said, she didn't see Stefan's car because she was looking for another one like the Cadillac. She didn't even know Stefan had been there. That Sunday night. So. Um, so she's made that comment before. Please drop me off far away. I want to walk. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. When you look at the car, to me, it looks like I'm old. It looks old, but. Gotcha. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, so would he come here? Would you go there? He would come here. He's only been gone for the last two months. Um, so he's come here uh, those, uh, those few times. Okay. I think I didn't mention. And then he had told me he was like, um, like frustrated, I guess. Um, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the word frustrated. Okay. But um, I know he's had sexual relations with people. Um, I don't bother by that. That's whatever he needs to do. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, because of your medication, it took all your sexual drive away. You don't care what who he sleeps with. You know what I mean? As long as he leaves you alone, you don't care what he does. Is that what I'm getting? She does not care who he sleeps with. Um, well, obviously there's a little bit of, actually, I don't want to get to that yet. Who drives your car? Is Primarily me. Okay. Um, on Monday night, he drove my car. Monday night when? After we went to bed, after the cops had been called and all that, he took my car and decided to drive around um, to see if he could keep searching for her, looking for her, seeing if there was anything. That what time was that? Do you remember? I don't know. I know he let, he took my car and left because when I got into the front seat of the car, the car had been adjusted. Mm -hmm. And he's like, remember I said I was going to go out? And I'm like, that's right. You did tell me that you were going to go out. I just don't remember. He never told me what time or anything. He, but he did mention early or Monday. I'm gonna drive around. Uh, I, I I can't just sit at home. I I need to be looking for her. And I'm just like, okay, that's fine. Uh, you you don't remember if that was in the evening or like sometime. Well, actually, it wasn't fine, was it, Jen? Because did you not say, well, don't you think you should be staying at home? You know what I mean? Don't you think you should be here? You questioned him about going out. The only time you did question him about anything was that night. Before midnight, after midnight? Oh, before midnight. Okay. I go to bed. Well, that's Monday night. I'm not sure what time I went to bed Monday night. I want to say before midnight because I have to take my meds and I have to go to sleep. Um, they only work if I take them the right way, my mm -hmm. meds. So I have to follow a strict routine with them. You want to say it was before midnight. Okay, and then when you got into your car, when you didn't notice that the car was, or the seat was back? Yesterday. Yesterday, whenever we got kicked out of the house, whenever they told us we couldn't go back in, mm -hmm. um, Brown 
I got into the car and I was like, oh, the seat's adjusted. I'm like, did you get in it? He's like, yeah, I, I took a drive last night, remember? I'm like, oh yeah, you did. You told me that. Um, so Monday night, were you, did you ever come here to the sheriff's office Monday night? Yeah. No? Okay. Did Stefan come here? I don't think that so. you know of? Okay. Are you, do you know? Were they talked to here or? Oh, uh, no, they were talked to at place of business originally where okay. they did the report. Mm -hmm. And then we have been in contact with her at her apartment. But that was after the initial report was made. That was last night? Yes. Okay. Yesterday, well, yesterday, um, the other detective, Frank, mm -hmm. responded around 10 o'clock in the morning and started looking at the school. I'm not sure when the initial contact was made with her. I want to say it was like around 11 or 12. 12, right at your apartment um and we've been in contact with her since then okay all right now i just i understand that a detective recently showed you some pictures of not so pleasant things okay um what was discussed at that point they asked me if I recognized the penis. Mm -hmm. In one image, I didn't. In the other image, not that I recognized the penis exactly, but I recognized the things around the penis. Mm -hmm. and, like what? Clothing um, or? Um, clothing and like a pillowcase. Okay. That was like underneath the penis in the picture. So I recognized that. Um, Did he explain to you where those images came from? He said Stefan's them. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Did he explain to you the content of those pictures? I'm not sure. Just explain that they were in his phone, that there's evidence that they've been sexually active or doing things. What's Stefan's relationship with? What's their relationship like? I was going to say really good. Super great. He's always been super sweet and kind to her. Very accepting, warming, understanding of her because she's, she's got ADHD, so she's kind of a little, I'll say abnormal. Mm -hmm. And then it's like she doesn't act like a regular kid, but, um... Abnormal? Did she just say her daughter was a little abnormal? Oh my lord. She's got ADHD, doesn't make her abnormal. Did you ever talk to her about it? In fact, children who are on the spectrum or are, are autistic or ADHD, if treated and, and nurtured in the right way, are very clever children. I've got one grandson who's on the spectrum. I've got another grandson who we believe is ADHD, but we'll, we'll wait to get him assessed. And I've just found out the other day that he had he has got his appointment come through. And both my grandsons are very, I know, six. Well, they're both. One was seven in June. The other one's seven in October. Right? Uh... Before my one grandson went to school, to P1, he was in this nursery, and they held him back a lot because they didn't know how to deal with him, right? When my other grandson went to a brilliant nursery, they helped him a lot, you know what I mean? And he's in mainstream school, yeah? He still gets extra help, but he's in mainstream school. My other grandson is in mainstream school, but he gets a lot more extra help. And since he's been in that school, his reading, his writing's come on, 
is numbers. And my lord talk about numbers, yeah, all day long. He knows them. He knows his numbers. Right? So if you nurture them and you work with them, they are, they are, oh, God's sake. Get back, Jane. They, get back. They are very clever children. Not abnormal. understanding for her. Um, and he does that really well. And she is, she, right, from what I understand? She just turned just, Um, when she's around Stefan, does she act any different? No, she just gets, she's happy, just like, hey, how are you? Um, but she doesn't act any differently or weird around him. I was once told, a few years back now, not longer, that a child will, who's being groomed by a step-parent or a parent or a family member or anyone like that, will gravitate to that person because they don't, like, they want their The reason they gravitate to the person who's abusing them because they don't realise they are being abused. Right? A lot of the children don't realise, especially when they've started at such a young age, don't realise they're being abused. So they gravitate to that person because they want to make that person happy. Look, she loves me. How could I hurt her? She loves me. You know what I mean? They gravitate to that person rather than the mother or the father or whatever. They always gravitate to the person who's abusing them. That's what I was told a few years ago. I heard it somewhere. I can't remember where I heard it. But I'm going to do some research on this. Um, there's no really easy way to ask this, but... Do you think it's possible that Stefan and her are having a sexual relationship? Before those images, I would have said absolutely not. Mm -hmm. But if you're telling me that on the other side of that penis that they showed me was her with her mouth, then there's nothing else I can believe that has to be true. But before that evidence, I would have said no. Has Stefan always been, like, when you guys communicate and talk, or have you ever caught him in any kind of lies or not being truthful or anything like that? No. So he's been honest about everything, as far as you know? As far as I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never had to question. If I've, if I've, if I've had questions, I've had answers. Mm -hmm. So it's, it was never, I never suspected anything. How long is, how long have you been lived in Kissimmee? I lived in that house on and off since 11 months old. Okay, so. Where else did you live other than that? For a little while, I moved into my mother's house during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, Where did she live? In Hunter's Creek. Okay. Um, and then during COVID, it was another situation where he got promised the job down there and it didn't happen. We moved down there, got an apartment and lived there for somewhere between six to eight months. And then moved down where? I'm sorry, to Port Charlotte, Florida, okay. which is next to Sarasota County. Mm -hmm. It's in Charlotte County. Mm -hmm. um, we moved down to Port Charlotte during the whole COVID um, where everyone was quarantining time. Mm -hmm. um, we moved during that time and stayed in Port Charlotte. What about Stefan? How long has Stefan lived in Kissimmee? I'll say on and off for seven years since I sent, or six years. The first um, he was still staying at his parents. Where's his parents live? 
at the time they lived in Winter Garden, Florida, but now mm -hmm. they live in Northport, Florida. That's who he lives with down there. Oh, okay. Um, what about family? Any other family around here? Who? Him? Mm -hmm. uh, no. I think he's got distant relatives, but nobody he's ever talked to like mm -hmm. that. What about friends or you guys have friend are all your friends in Kissimmee? All of his friends are in Northport, Florida. Um, he made a big group of gaming friends down there. He's got some coworkers he talks to here. Um, but no one I've seen him hang out with lately. Okay. Um, what about you? Are your friends in Kissimmee or? Sorry, do you mind sending that person? Nope. Give me one second, okay. One second, Jennifer, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no worries. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. Oh shit, I was Sorry, I'm so sorry. I have a horrible potty mouth. <laughs> um So, oh, so we were talking about Stefan's relationship with her. And, um, when, like, if you aren't in the same room. How do we communicate? Like, texts. No, we speak to each other. Okay, so you call each other on the phone. If she's in the same room? No, no, if, she, if you guys aren't in the same room. Oh. Like, if she's out with her friends or you're at work or. Call her text, but she's really bad about responding. She'll put her phone on silent or do not disturb. Mm -hmm. And sometimes she'll respond, sometimes she won't. Okay. Um, how do you and Stefan normally communicate? Via um, Google Meet, which is the video, the video, not FaceTime, but the video chat for Android. Okay. Uh, we'll video chat. Pretty much all day. Okay. Does Stefan ever talk on the phone? Uh, yeah. How do they do that? How do they normally communicate? Uh, video chat as well. Okay. Um, but when she's on video chat, she's video chatting next to me, and we're all part of the conversation. They never go off on their by themselves and have own, their own conversation. It's always all of us together. Okay. All right. Do they talk quite a bit? Do you know? Um. See, we'll all. I'll say yes, because we're all in the conversation together and, and we stay on the phone for hours together. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, but that's all of us together. Got it. That's a form of control. By being on the phone for hours, that's a form of control. He's got to know what they're doing, where they are and everything. That's a form of control. Normal times of the day. I know kids sometimes are up late at night talking on the phone or anything like that. Do you, if Stefan's in Northport at home or with his parents and you guys are here and you guys are all talking, is it when normal people talk or yeah. in the morning, early in the morning or? Uh, after school. After school and before bedtime. Okay. Um, do you know if you had conversations with Stefan? outside of your presence? Like, do they talk on the phone? It's possible, but if I'm at home, I would know. Gotcha. Okay. She's always in my bedroom. She's hanging out in my bedroom or in her space, but mm -hmm. I can hear her in her bedroom or I can hear her from my bedroom. So I would know. Okay. Um, now, this is kind of going to get into a sensitive subject, which and I apologize. Um, but there were images on his phone of them two being involved in a relationship. Now, um, has she ever disclosed to you or anything like that? Um, if anything like that has happened between them? No. Has he ever mentioned to you, like, 
is he into any kind of like does he watch porn or any that you know of i'm sure he does but does he watch it around you or a, I know some thing, or does he do that to your phone or anything like that? Okay. Too much respect to each other's privacy. What about his phone? Do you ever go through her phone at all? Sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, but not as much as I should probably. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've gone through her phone before though. Okay. Anything abnormal that you would see in her phone? Not that you thought, or no, I'm saying like never. If, I've never seen anything, gotcha. no, but right, I'm saying okay. if you guys saw something, then I missed it. No, 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 I'm not saying that we have. Okay, no, uh, Stefan's phone is a different story. Um, just going back to the um comment you made about how you know that he was sexually active with someone else, and um, I found out about it later, but there was a girl he had been hanging out with a co worker. Um, this is about a year, over a year ago. Um, he started hanging out with a coworker and I had suspicions that they were sleeping together, but I would ask and he wouldn't confirm or say anything like that, but he didn't confirm until a few months later that, yeah, they in fact did sleep together. And I was just like, well, okay, good to know. Um, I was just checking to see if I had slept with him after that and like you know what i mean like i, I didn't want to have sex with him after he's had sex with somebody else so um when he told me that um i was just checking with myself to see if that had happened and i had it so and this got brought up on a conversation of you asking him if he was sexually active with someone something on his phone or was he texting off no, to the side it was or... a conversation that we had he just told me was it a cordial conversation? Or were you guys angry? Or... No. No. Oh. Sorry, when was the last time you guys were sexually active? December of last, not, not December 2023, but December 2022. Okay. At that point, I had decided that I wasn't interested in sex. I wasn't my meds just really affected me and I'm just like you know what I think it's it took a while to figure out that it was my meds I was trying to figure out if it was like my hormones or my body like what was going on but it was just my meds um we narrowed it down to that so when I realized that what was happening I just had to accept it because it's either come off my meds or fix my sex drive well come off my meds fix my sex drive or stay on my meds I'm gonna stay on my meds like I need to stay stable so, um, yeah. Where have you guys been staying? I know you said they kicked you out of your apartment or whatever, but while they were at your apartment, where were you guys staying? At a hotel right off the of Disney property, uh, Home Suites by Marriott or something like that, um, on Western Way, uh, off of 429. Okay. Did uh, so you and Stefan have been together pretty much the whole time after. Have you guys always been together, or has there been times that you stay at the right now? She just said that stayed at a hotel just outside of Disney World, yet on the uh, is it Tuesday? No, Wednesday morning. This morning, the day of this interview, right, he said he got lost. Well, didn't he used to work at Disney World? He'd know where that hotel was if he worked at Disney World. The hotel, are you working and he'll be out by himself? Uh, when I woke up this morning, he wasn't there and he was gone for about an hour. But he came back and he said uh, he had gotten some Wawa and then he got lost because he didn't have his GPS or phone on him or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, so um, it took him a while to get back to the hotel, but he found us eventually. 
I wondered that. I was just like, he left the hotel and didn't have a phone on him, didn't tell me where he went. I'm like, how is he going to find his way back? I don't think he even paid attention to how I got here because I'm the one who drove. I'm the one who knew mm-hmm. the hotel was. I was like, I don't know if he's going to figure it out, but he did. Um, but he was gone for about, I want to say, an hour. Okay. I don't think anything else right now. I feel like I'm. Um, can I see that image of. I guess I feel like. Unless. I'm not going to believe it until I have confirmation. And I'm always going to have doubts unless I actually see it myself. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to leave here today and never have the opportunity again. Like, I want to. No, I don't mind showing you, but. They're, they are difficult things to see. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Um, just, just the one image. I'm not sure which picture they showed you earlier. Um, I don't think we might have the same pictures. We do have different pictures, but not. I don't know if I have the same one that the other detective showed you. Okay. Does that make sense? Do you still want to look? Am I gonna am I gonna clearly see her face? Yes. And prior to this, have you known her to be sexually active with any boyfriends or friends? That one right there is enough. You saw it through the picture? I could, but you can turn it around if you want. Why would you, as a mother, torture yourself by wanting to see them photos again? Why? Do you recognize anybody else that may be in that photo? I know basically it's only genitalia, but is there anything else in that photo that stands out to you? No. Yeah. No. Anything in the background? Is this a picture of a picture? Is this a picture of a phone? Like, is this background? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Let me see. I don't think I recognize in the background. No. There's not much. There's not much space. If you don't mind asking, who keeps calling? Everyone. The Family. news. Family My family. They're all trying to figure out if I was the news. Because last they heard, I was going to the news conference and oh, that I was going to watch that, but that somehow happened. <clears throat> so they all, they all want an update and see where I'm at and what I'm doing and what's the latest. Yeah, but understandable. Yeah, you can let them know that the reason it's taken so long is now we. This is now a Kissimmee like police investigation. Yeah. Since that's where you guys live. Yeah. Okay. I know this may not make sense to you, but amongst us it does. Sometimes when people call the police and then want to file a report, there's jurisdictional lines that we got to follow. Okay. Yeah. So being that she was dropped off at school, that would make it Orange Counties. Okay. Um, but now we can't definitively say she was dropped off at school. We believe she was. Um, we got to go on. We definitely know 100% that she was at home at your house on her way to school. So that's why we're involved. Okay. Does that make sense to you now? Okay. Um, I can't think of anything else right now for her. Um, anything else that we may miss that um, I know that you said 
that Stefan was out, right, looking for her that night. Do you remember what time he came back? Like when you woke up, was Stefan home? Yes. What time did you wake up? Can I look at my phone and tell you? Yeah, of exactly? course. Because I was phone calls that one. Let me see if I can find it. We're talking about Tuesday morning, right? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> And while you're looking for the time, was there any specific reason on why he wanted to use your car instead of his? Um, because he had just gotten a flat tire, so he's got a donut on his on one of the back wheels. Um, and I told him not to drive the car because you can't drive very much on a donut, right? Like okay. not not fast and not far. So Did he explain don't... any like how the flat tire happened on the on the car? Or he was just driving down. Was when it... And he was just driving down 192 and then he felt like a, a wobble or something um weird and then he pulled over and saw that the tire had like just shredded just fell apart so he pulled over into a plaza and changed the tire do you know where about he says somewhere on 182 but he doesn't know exactly where because everything looks the same to him i'm just um, yeah um he doesn't know what business he may have stopped at or where but I will tell you, Stefan also has ADHD. He's also very forgetful. It's it's like they're both the same. Mm -hmm. They both have ADHD. They're both very forgetful. They both have time blindness, which means they lose track of time. They, they If they don't have a watch on them at all times, they've lost track of time. They don't know how long they've been taking. An hour or more long shower, not realizing she's been in the shower for very long. Um, they're both the same in, in that respect. He's also on medication, which is making him super forgetful. Um, it's an anxiety. Is this new for him, or has he always had this? Stefan? He's always had ADHD. Um, okay. I want, and I want to say that's probably the ADHD part that just, it's not, it's hard to manage and control, right? It's just, it's just how you are. And it's just a lot of those little things that just, it was just too much for me. Um, and I'm sorry, what were you saying? No, it's okay. Yeah, so right now... Um, he doesn't remember where he got this flat tire. And he changed it himself, he said? Yes. Okay. And he said he hurt himself while doing it. Um, I think his thumb got caught in between the thing that cranks the car up the and like the frame. Mm -hmm. Something twisted and fell on his finger and he said he yanked out his finger really fast okay. and he hurt himself. Um, so he used your car because of the flat tire. Oh, okay. And then did you find the time? Oh, sorry. Okay. I woke up around 8 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. And he was home? Yes. Was right. What was it you said? He couldn't use your car to take Madeline to school because he wasn't on the insurance. But then you was gonna let then you let him use your car Monday evening, Tuesday early hours, Tuesday morning. Please make that make sense. Was he awake, sleeping, or what was he doing? Asleep. Okay. And then Did do you know if at any point during any of this, like if he's showered, he's changed? No. Not that you have physically seen? No, I haven't seen him shower or change. Okay. Do you recognize the phone number? No. He hasn't showed or changed. Well we know he changed his top because on the Monday morning he was wearing a red top. But when you see him at the office, when the police first come out, he's wearing like a bluey top, bluey grey sort of top. And he said he had changed. But he hasn't showered since when? Sunday? Oh my lord. Ugh. Mate. Oh. Oh, sorry, we're almost done. No I, think, I 
think he showered. I'm not sure if he showered. I don't think he showered Sunday night. I think it must have been Monday morning sometime. Monday morning? Yeah. Because there there is a towel in my bathroom that's not ours. Not not that's hanging there. Mm -hmm. Um and I think I recall him telling me he was gonna take a shower, but I just don't remember when exactly. Okay. Does anybody else use this bathroom? Just Stefan. You said you had two roommates. Yeah. What are their names? Angelica. Do you want the last name as well? Please. And who is the other one? Natalie. How long have you guys been roommates with each other? With Angelica, almost three years. With Natalie, almost two. So I'm not sure if you guys went to the house at all. We were there, but not outside. Okay, so these bedrooms are numbered. So do you know where, which room is Angelica's? Angelica's room is number three. Number three. And Natalie's room is number two. Okay. Like if you actually physically are there, each door has a number. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And do you guys rent to a separate landlord? Like does someone own that specific unit? Okay. And then he rents out rooms? It looks uh, like. Yeah. Okay. How did you meet them? Who, who are they in relation to you? Natalie Rosero, I've known her since my sister was in middle school. They're best middle school best friends. So we've known her, I would say, more than half her life now, 20 plus years. Um, Angelica, I met her on Facebook Marketplace almost three years ago when she rented. Looking for a place to yeah, live in. Place, yes. How old is Angelica? Thirty-one, thirty-two. Okay, so they're both a little older. Yeah, and, and Natalie's. Well, thirty-one is not old, okay? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie and her is thirty-three, I think. Okay. <clears throat> Since you mentioned Facebook Marketplace, social media. She's got a Instagram. Okay. Do you happen to know her Instagram name? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or if you can pull up her page. To be honest with you, I thought TikTok is more for the younger generation, where you do short videos of dancing, singing, or doing silly stuff. I would have thought Instagram was one for a 13 year old. Just me, perhaps I'm just getting old. Do you mind if I take a picture of it? What about uh, Stefan? Does he have social media? I think, I'm not sure, I don't think he's got, does he? Yes, so he's got a Facebook, he's got an Instagram, and he's got a Reddit. Mm-hmm. Um, possibly Discord as well, which is like a chat mm-hmm. app. Do you have his Instagram that you can show me? What's happened to Steph? Actually, can you guys update me on what, what what's happening with Stephan at this point? So we're like like he said, we're going to get all the same information that Orange County got from you. Um, so that right now we're kind of starting at the bottom and working our working our way up. We're going to go talk to them now. Yep. Oh, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so just so we know a little bit more about it, I know you mentioned something about gaming. Or, or is that like one of his things to do, gaming? What is he into? He's into... Um, like what does he do on a daily basis? Obviously, he lives in North Florida. Okay. What's he into? 
So one thing, another thing Stefan's got mental health wise is insomnia. He doesn't sleep well and he's got also sleep apnea. So when he sleeps, he stops breathing and doesn't get good rest. He's, his, his brain is always telling him to wake up and breathe. So he's always constantly being woken up. He doesn't get good sleep. Because of this, he spends the majority of his day sleeping, just trying to get some rest, but it never, it's, just, it's a stupid cycle with sleep apnea. He'll spend the majority of his day sleeping. When he does wake up, he'll play a game called World of Warcraft. It's a video game. Or he'll meet up with his friends and play tabletop gaming, like like battle, like they battle each other with little game with little toys. cards or not toys, little the little miniature figures. Okay. Um, it's called uh, Warhammer 40k. It's just a tabletop tournament game. Um, like you're you're a weird race. You're a weird race of creature and we're going to war with each other okay. so they're just trying to kill each other, Battle each other and, yeah okay. um that's pretty much what he's into also he collects tamagotchis and digimons um i don't know if you guys remember tamagotchis mm -hmm. from back in the day mm -hmm. little creatures we used to take care of. yeah he has a bunch of those i want to say that's right now those are his current hobbies and since you've known him for you know, his triggers, like are there certain things that he gets upset about easily if you do or say, or I mean, I know I can be a nag sometimes. And if I keep nagging, he'll get a little irritated. But I can't say I know what to do. I don't think he's got triggers. Have you ever experienced him outlash, like to the extreme, on anybody? You, any uh -huh. of his family? Or does he ever hit you or oh, just no. at all? Oh no, never, never, never. Um. I'll say he'll, he'll, he does have like a little bit of a temper, but it's not anything I've ever been afraid of or been like, oh my God, he's going to hit me or oh my God, he's never like that. Um, Have you guys any disagreements lately, recently? No. I'll talk to Stefan a little bit to see if he can maybe give a little bit more insight of what happened that day after he dropped her off. Is he being placed under arrest because of those pictures? Yeah, that's. We haven't made that determination yet, but. Okay. Fresh charges. Since she's a juvenile. What do you think should happen to him for these pictures? It's crazy. Like I saw the pictures, but I'm still in denial because like there's a penis there. Mm -hmm. What do you think should happen about these pictures? I'll be going. Well, put it this way. Don't let him near me or don't let me near him because I will put him six feet under. Right? After seeing what she's just seen, I'll be there with my shovel digging the fucking hole to put him in. But oh no, no. But is is he visual? Does he show up in any of the pictures? Is there? I mean, I don't know who. I haven't is. seen all of the pictures, so I can't answer that. Because okay. well, I can't. Whether it's his penis or not, are you comfortable with him having content of someone else's penis on his phone? That makes sense.
Totally not, no. No. Exactly. Whether it is P or not, it's on his phone. And it's your daughter in the picture. I swear to God, I just want to slap this woman. Yeah. Right here, we talked about her being sexually active with anybody. I even... Me assuming she had never been sexually active, I hadn't brought it up. Because... Has she ever had boyfriends in the past? Or... No, she's not allowed to date. Okay. How does that make her feel? I know some teenagers want to have a boyfriend. And... Yeah, I think she was okay with it. She never complained and said, you want to date this person, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, for a little while, she's like, someone, um, can they be my girlfriend or can they be my boyfriend? And I'm just, I don't, I don't know if it was a boy or girl. Um, and I said, I think you're a little too young for that. Let's just wait, wait till you're older, wait till you're older. And she was like, okay with that. Um, yeah, I know she recently had a crush on a boy. I don't know, I think my first boyfriend was, I was 11. And I was with him for a year. Right? And then it started up like, oh, you two are going to get married, you're going to have this. I'm thinking, and I think at the time I was 12 by then, I went, I'm 12. And after that, it's literally about a month or so after that, I split up with him. Because of everyone going on about, oh, why well, you've been with him for a year now. I can see you two being together forever. Ugh. I'm glad I didn't. But Has she ever had boys at the house? No. Have you ever had anybody at your house, any male friends at your house? Not in years. What about your roommates? My roommate has a son who's 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. But he's darker skin complexion, but I don't think that would be his penis. See, she's even thinking. She was even thinking, could it be her roommate's son? Could it be anyone else but Stefan? If I was that roommate and I seen her, I'd, oh my lord. After hearing that, I'd be wanting to slam her into the ground. Do your roommates have boyfriends? Not that I know of, I don't think they do. Would there be any reason for with if they have boyfriends with any other male? With any other male? No. What do you think should happen to Stefan? I'm afraid to see press charges, but what else? I'm afraid to say press charges. <gasps> oh, God. I'll be saying, do not let that man buy me. Do not let that man buy me. There's a side of me that wants to say he's innocent that this isn't to happen, but who else's penis could that be? She's not left alone with anyone else. And why would they be on his phone? Yeah, why would they be on his phone exactly? Still, to this second of this interview, still believes that he's innocent. Okay, we can revisit that. 
Because after we're done talking to him, I'll probably come back and talk to you for a little bit, just to give you an update and stuff like that, okay? Can I make one decision now and change my mind later? Can I make one decision now and change my mind later? <laughs> oh, I want you to arrest him. Then, half. No, I don't want to press charges. Oh, my God, woman. You've just sat there and seen several pictures of him with your daughter. And you say, if I say one thing, can I change my mind later? Oh, please. I can't, I can't get this from me. Why would you want to change your mind? If I decide not to press charges now, could I change my mind and press charges later? Uh, it's not up to you. No, this is pressing charges is not up to you, sweetheart. They found evidence on his phone of child abuse. SA, right? It's not up to you now, it's up to the police. And believe me, they're going after him full force. Oh my Lord. We, it's a lot to digest. Okay, so you, I don't want to make you answer that right now, you know. Um, but when we come back, we'll talk more about it. Okay, when I come back. Let's take some time to process everything. Because you're going through a lot right now. But right now, I mean, in my eyes, that's it sounds bad, but almost secondary because we want to worry about this afterwards. She's our main focus. That's where I'm at. I'm, I know that the sexual sexual acts happened, but I'm not convinced that he didn't take her to school. I'm not convinced that he... She's still not convinced. I don't believe this woman. They've got photos of her in the car, slumped over. They've got photos of him essaying her daughter. And yet, to this set minute, she's still... Please, someone explain this to me. He's the reason she's gone. Because if this had been going on for so long, what's the motive? Why Monday? Why that day? Why the day after her birthday when we were supposed to spend the entire... Why that day exactly? What happened? Apparently, she gave him a phone call on the Saturday, right? Because he made out to his mum or his parents that it was about the party, right? And but apparently, after that phone call, he got very anxious and all this lot, and he wanted. To, he asked his dad during his mom if they had any medication, anything he could take to ease it, right? Because it rung out on his prescription. Okay? So something was said on that phone call. Could it be, are you coming over Sunday? Yeah, well, we need to talk. Perhaps she told him, I think I might be pregnant, something like that, I don't know, but some upset him on the Saturday night. Our week together and have such a great time, like we, we had plans, like we knew we were just going to be together that week and we were going to have a good time, so I just can't think like, why? When you say what's the motive, what are you assuming? That she was taken. Not that anyone that I know has done something to her, because I feel like nobody I know would do something to her, would hurt her, would murder her, anything like that. I feel like... No one would hurt her. He did. He hurt her. He was hurting her all the time, mentally. Physically, he was hurting her. 
shoot. I just wonder if we're, like, I know the sexual acts happened, but I wonder if that's just completely separate to her actually going missing and. I don't care if it's a separate thing. If you got the SA in, in one hand and her missing in the other hand. Right? I don't care if they're two separate things. They're working it as one. The police have got these pictures. They've got her missing. They've put two and two together. Right? Being as he was the last one to see her as well. You don't think Stefan has anything to do with her going missing? I don't feel like he would. Why? No, I'm just asking. No, I know. But I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what would be the reason? Where would he take her? There's nowhere I can think that he's, that he could take her, um, that I hadn't heard of or known about, or would be familiar with. Because if not, I would tell, tell you, she, she, okay, she could be here, she could be here, she could be here. There's nowhere I can think of. Who does he know that lives in St. Cloud? You know where St. Cloud is. I do know where St. Cloud is. Mm -hmm. um, does he know anyone in St. Cloud? Yeah. Him or you? I know people in St. Cloud. Um, where? Where do they live? I haven't seen him in a long while, though. But um, one person lives close to Harmony. So driving all the way down St. Cloud, passing mm -hmm. St. Cloud a little bit. Mm -hmm. One person lives in St. Cloud, like off of Old Canoe Creek Road. Okay. Anyone he knows, I can't think of anyone that he would know. Has know Stefan ever went with you to visit any of your friends in St. Cloud? No. Does, so you're not sure, does he know anybody in St. Cloud? I'm not sure if he knows anyone in St. Cloud. I know the girl he dated or was sleeping with, I guess that's technically the semi off of Michigan. That's mm -hmm. technically the semi. So now it's not St. Cloud. <sighs> Let me ask you this. Now I'm going to get a little bit more in depth. Why would you, or why would his car be in St. Cloud Monday? I know he was going to a bunch of uh, gaming stores, video game stores. Mm -hmm. Not. Mm -mm. Maybe not video game stores, but like board game stores, like where he can buy little miniatures and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, he also plays a, a card game also. I think he was looking for cards that day. Uh, a card game called Dorkana. Um, I know he headed up, I, and I think he told me the shops were off of 192 somewhere. I'm not sure how far they were. I don't know if they were in St. Cloud, mm -hmm. but... Um, I know he headed in that direction Monday while I was at the doctor's appointment. Or no, I'm just kidding. After. Okay. When's the last time you've been in your car in St. Cloud? Me? Mm -hmm. While you look for that, did anybody else drive your car while you guys were looking for other than Stefan? No. Um, the last time I was in, in St. Cloud was February 7th. I had a doctor's appointment over there. Okay. Who would have been driving your car between Monday and now other than you? Stefan. Okay. Three o'clock in the morning. If, if he says he was out driving around, trying to think, trying to look, think of places to look for her, <clears throat> uh, maybe. You didn't go with him to look. No. Why? I have to stay home, take my meds, and go to sleep. Oh yes, she has to be at home. Don't forget, she can't go out. She has to stay at home and take her fucking meds and go 
to sleep. She has to go to sleep. Okay. All right. So just to be clear, your roommates or nobody else has access to your car other than him. Nobody has a key to your car other than him or you. The only key they would have access to would be the spare that I keep on a hook by my bedroom door and anyone can grab that. Mm -hmm. um, would I think my roommates would go into my room and take it? No, but I think the only person that would have would be Stefan. Okay. All right, anything else? Are you good? No, stop for that. Okay. All right, Ms. Jennifer, thank you so much. Once again, I apologize that you have to uh, give the story again, but like I said, now this, I have to play catch up. Am I allowed to contact anyone right now or no? Who do you want to contact? My sister. My mom keeps calling me, but I'm not really sure what to say at this point. I mean, you can tell, I can't tell you what to say or what not to say. Um, I will say that we are now taking over the investigation. So, yes, ma'am. Yeah. And I'll give you my card. Is there a case number or anything I need to? Um, no, I don't think so. We have theirs. Yeah. But I don't have ours yet. But just because this is an open investigation, I would highly suggest not to share any information outside of this room. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. And I'll be back in a little bit. Right. So that's it. Right now, my jaw hit the floor so many times during that interview. It was like lifting it back up again and putting it into place. Because ask, what do you think should happen to him? I'd like to say, I'd like to say, yeah, just keep that mother effer away from me before I bury him. You know what I mean? If you don't bury him, I will. Sort of thing. That's what I'd be saying after being given the proof. Oh, well, what if Mignola's sex earlier says happened? But what's saying he didn't take her to school because they've got photos of him driving around with her in the car. They've got uh, security information from the gate saying around about quarter past eight, 20 past eight, he was coming back into the apartment again with her sitting in the front of the car in such an awkward position. And the reason of the interview after that one, the reason of the one, and I will try, I'll try and find you, right, so we can listen to that, because that is, well, all these interviews by Jane are just jaw-dropping. We're not going to get no more interviews. I think, I don't know if there's any more interviews with Stefan, because I know he got arrested. Oh, and you know what she does after she comes out of here? Right? They go back and talk to her. Yeah? She then leaves that police station or wherever it was. And you know what she does? She phones Stefan's father and tells him he, to get an attorney or a lawyer for Stefan because he's been grooming her daughter for two years. Why would you do that? I'll be phoning his father and saying, your son's a dirty little mother effer. Don't even show your face near me again. You know what I mean? 
I won't even be phoning his father up. Because I'd be that angry, I don't know. I wouldn't even want to be near his father because I would. And yet he says. You know what I mean? She sat in the car with him all nice and calm. Yeah. It's, as someone says in the comments, it's unreal. It is unreal. That she can't add two and two together. The essaying and a child missing. What's the connection? Oh, yeah, Stefan. Because I, he essayed her from a young age. B, he took her to school, so he said. And C, she goes missing. Hmm. Now, who could be at fault there? Oh, yeah. Santa Claus. No, Stefan. And yet she does not want to believe that he would have anything to get. He wouldn't, she doesn't want to believe that he would hurt her. Well, what do you think he's been doing from a young age? And I think she's got to the point in her life where she ever said she thought maybe she was pregnant. And she said, look, I, you know what I mean? And that's what made him do what he did. Right? Or perhaps she said, you're not touching me no more. I'm going to tell my mum I've had enough of this. I'm old enough now to understand that this isn't right. You can't keep doing this to me. And thump, that would be it. He didn't like the fact that she said she had a crush on some lad at school. He didn't like that. She's not old enough. She's not old enough to be seeing lads. But she's old enough for you to essay her. Bit hypocritical, isn't it, Stefan? Because you knew she's getting to that. As um, I've heard as well, a lot of people like Stefan, when a child reaches a certain age, normally at puberty, right? This can be anything between 11 and 13 or 11 and 14, right? Normally about 11 and 13 is puberty, yeah? When a child takes that age, they don't like, they don't want them no more because they're not a child in their eyes. They're too old. So they just discard them. Well, she phoned him on the Saturday. I think she told him something on the Saturday which got his anxiety all worked up. Something was said on that phone call on the Saturday. Right? And then I think she's probably said, whatever, and I'm going to tell my mum. He can't afford for that secret to come out. He can't afford to have his little angel gone. You know what I mean? He was obsessed with her. And as for when she was very young, she did that inappropriate thing with a phone, a mobile phone. She was acting out what he had been doing to her by taking photos. I, this is just my opinion. I think she'd been taking photos of her self, right, and she got caught, and instead of thinking, why would she be doing that, why would you be doing that, sweetheart, you know what I mean, why would you be doing that, she wasn't questioned on it by her mother, I would be questioning the hell out of that, and I think she was just acting out what he was doing to her, because when, if he was uh, grooming her from the silent age of eight. She's still very impressionable. Eight year old? Yeah, still very young. 
while well, still really impressionable. So she's thinking, well, if he's taking photos of me, what's wrong? why can't I take photos of me? You know what I mean? So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there, everyone. Thank you for being in chat with me tonight. Please give this video a like. Please share it. Please leave me a comment. If you're watching on replay, leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Till then, stay safe.